In today's video, we will be looking at migrating star team configurations. I will demonstrate moving my star team configuration from server machine A to server machine B. Preparing for server migration, we need to do the following. Shut down server configuration, create database backup, and verify the location of the files that you need to move. And these are database backup, star team server config XML, and the repository. The star team server config XML is found in your star team server installation folder. Now we have completed the preparation, we can move on to migrating. Firstly, install the exact server configuration build, or if upgrading, make sure you are running a build you can upgrade from. Two, copy the files from the source to the target location. Three, copy the entire star team server config.xml and to target star team server installation directory overriding the existing copy. And four, modify star team server config.xml to match target machine pathways. And I will now demonstrate the paths to change. Here you will see my existing Stanford configuration XML file. Since we have changed to a new machine, server B, I originally had the repository path on the D drive. On this machine, I want to change to a C drive. And the log path was also I put to the D drive. I will now need to change this to the C drive. So we need to match up these pathways with our new server pathways. So continuing on with our migration, we now need to five, restore the database from backup, and six, configure the database for the migrated server configuration, which I will now demonstrate. In the Star Team Server Administration Console, select Stafford from the Configuration window, select Server from the toolbar and Connection Properties. Here we can see firstly in the General tab that the log file path is now set to C. This was the change we made in the XML file. Switching to the Database Connection Information tab, we need to make sure the database server name is entered, the database name, username and password. And once you have done so, verify connection. And this tells us that Stanford has successfully connected to the database. Returning to our migration checklist, all we have to do now is start the migrated server configuration. Note when starting on a new machine for the first time, it is recommended to start with override. And now we have completed the migration process. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.